Hi, I'm Dr. Janet Pope. I'm a Room Now reporter. Welcome to Atlanta ACR 2019. I have with me Dr. Stephanie Wade. You had an oral presentation and I understand it was on rituximab and whether we should repeat measuring hypogamma globulinemia or not, so the gamma globulins. Can you tell me briefly about that? Yeah, definitely. So we looked at uh, rates of hypogamma globulinemia across systemic rheumatologic conditions. So we compared vasculitis, connective tissue disease, and rheumatoid arthritis patients. And we found increased rates of hypogamma globulinemia in patients with vasculitis and on patients with moderate or high doses of steroids. So we are recommending checking repeat immunoglobulins in patients um, both prior to starting rituximab after treatment with rituximab and at the time of an infection. So I guess the bottom line is though, in my practice, I don't routinely measure gamma globulins in any of those conditions realizing, as you say, as a, for instance, cyclophosphamide, prednisone, other things could lower the gamma globulins. Does this translate though to infection? You know, I there's a signal that it does. And I think overall our number was low, but in past um, big, uh, analyses from the clinical trials program, there were similar signals. So I think it's worth doing. And I think over time, when we have more data prospectively um, with immunoglobin levels checked at the time of infection, we'll have a better sense. But for now, I think it's the safe thing to do. And I think really in general time will tell because we have lots of data, more than a decade of experience of repeat dosing in rheumatoid arthritis, but some of these other diseases have different co-medications and they're different anyway. Thank you very much. Welcome to Room Now.